Uh, but what you're asking for can easily be accomplished using uh, Avid Marquee. So this is Marquee, the title tool um, in Media Composer, and this is what you're going to get in the end. Some rolling titles and a logo at the end that stays embedded. You can retime that down in your timeline afterwards. So this is a Marquee running in expert mode. So you go up to the tool set, you say expert animation. What that does is it gives you a timeline down at the bottom. It gives you uh, toolbars up at the top with some more buttons on it, like arranging objects, grouping objects. Um, we don't really need those, but that's why they're there. Uh, you get a few more tools down the left-hand side of the main window, uh, things like some 3D tools, rolling and not rolling, but uh, the hand tool and so forth. Um, and we also get the layers view, and the layers view will be quite important for us. Uh, just get this thing out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to start off uh, just by making a fresh title so we can see how this thing works from scratch. And I'm going to start off by hitting the R, which tells it that I want to make a rolling title. Rolling title kind of sets up some constraints in Marquee. A rolling title, when initiated with the R button, means that you can trim it in the timeline of Media Composer and it dynamically adjusts the speed of the title. Um, if you come up with a title that maybe looks like it animates but it doesn't use the R method, um, you probably can't change the duration of it in the timeline easily. It probably fixes itself to the default animation size of about five seconds. So if you start off with R and you keep the title somewhat simple, um, Media Composer can continuously re-render the, the title from its timeline without having to re-invoke marquee. So it's a good thing to start off and just for rolling titles, hit the R. You get the text box, you get a type uh, in the text box with the text tool. Because I want to do columns, I'm going to start off by right-clicking in the uh, right-clicking the timeline, right-clicking in the main window to bring up the contextual menu. And in the contextual menu, I'm going to choose the paragraph editor like so. This lets you set up uh, columns. So well, we want three columns, uh, one for the title, then a kind of a gutter in the middle, and then one for the uh, the person's name. So the one on the left-hand side is actually going to align to the right-hand side, and the one in the middle is just the gutter, and the one on the left-hand side will align to the left, so that stays like that. I'm going to make the middle column a little bit smaller. So to do that, I'm just going to tap here and make it maybe 45% to over here. Uh, let's see, oh, that didn't take uh, 45%. Maybe I need to make this one smaller first. 45% and 45. There we go, to 55. And then this one is going to be the rest 55 to 100%. Okay, like that. Press OK. And to get into those columns, you just use the tab. Tab character will do that for you. So, uh, editor, just a tap in the box, editor, and then you can see that it's right aligning, tab, and Woody, maybe I need another tab than that, yeah, and uh, producer, I'll take that roll too, tab, tab, uh, Woody, and final roll will do, what did they do before, uh, I don't know, mixer, tab, tab, Woody, and uh, if we switch back and go down to this little mini timeline, which is Marquis timeline, and I just hit play or the space bar, you can see that it scrolls up, and sure, it's a rolling title. What we want to do is insert into that a, uh, what's it called, uh, like an image. So I have a PNG with the transparent background. I'm going to import that just by going to the file menu uh, and choosing, of all things, import uh, image. And put the logo, open we go. That's just a PNG, and it opens like this. It's just a layer that you can move around. Uh, if I show you the list of the layers here in Marquee, you can see that we have a shape. That's my title that, of the graphic I just imported, and then the text box underneath, uh, which moves. We're just going to scale it down a little bit by dragging the corner up here. Um, I'm holding Shift to constrain the proportions so I don't distort the logo. And I'm going to drag it. It's basically where I want it to be, kind of like that. But that in itself doesn't do anything. You can see if I scroll through the timeline, it just stays on top. Uh, so what I need to do is make it part of the text box, the text box uh, that rolls. So to do that, uh, over in the Layers menu, I'm just going to drag it and drop it into the text box like so. Now you can see the text box contains all these characters um, and the shape. And if we drop back to the beginning and hit Play, Rolls up like that. Ta-da! All done. 
Uh, if you need any further information, you can just ask on the forums and one of the forum moderators will get to you. If you're looking for training, come displace training in Toronto, Canada. Uh, that's where I teach courses about media composer like this. Thanks.